thank you for introducing me. Um, so everybody, when you hear about AIs, what would you imagine? Hollywood movies, robots with AIs, rampage, they get out of control, destroy everything. You might even fear, fear that these robots or AI is going to be out of control. And a lot of Western countries have this fear. But in Japan, people see these technologies in a little different way. So, like, they feel it in like a positive way, and they think that they could be friends. Um, do, does somebody, some of you remember Tamagotchi? Yeah, I used to have one too when I was an elementary school girl, and I asked my mom, like, mom, please take care of this while I'm at school, because I, please don't let it die. <laughs> and, or some of you might remember these robots, dogs, that you t took care of them. I hear that some families took care of them really for a long time, l just like their family members. People in Japan, they have, they not only think positive about these technologies, but they also have this ability to get emotionally connected with them. And years passed, and there was Pepper. Pepper also tried to learn how people's emotions were. And us, my team, we're going to try, we're trying to make this momentum to the next stage. We're trying to make an AI that can communicate in natural language and will stand in between technology and people and connect them together with emotion. So, her name is Rina. How many of you in this audience know about her? Oh, about a half. So for those who do not know her, she is an artificial intelligence in uh, Line and Twitter. You could text her anytime, and she will give you replies. And I work as a program manager for her. This is really my dream job um, because people Call, often call me that I'm her mom, Arena. <laughs> and I think so too because um, raising an AI or developing an AI is just like raising a child. But this Rina has 4.6 million friends and she just gained it in just about a year. So having a child that has this much power of communication, we have to make sure that she's being a good girl. Yeah, so, <laughs> so how did she have the ability to talk to many people? It's the brain. We've been learning so much about brain while we develop AI. Uh, when, so in order to make her speak or talk, we try to imitate or replicate how the brain works. And it's really fascinating. And what fascinates us the most is the ability, the brain, and how we learn. So in our brain, we have neurons, and these neurons have a lot of network. So the technology enabled us to replicate the network of neurons, and we were able to make computers learn themselves. We call this machine learning. Or some of you might have heard that it's a deep learning. What we did is we, we replicated this network and gave it data and when we give data, it will learn itself. So how we, we trained Rina, we first gathered enormous amount of data. And the data is really important. We wanted to her to be a very friendly girl or a little, sometimes a little sarcastic to become really friends. And also, we wanted her to make sure that she's not saying anything bad to other people. So we carefully cho chose what data we give her to learn, because data will form what she will be. It's something like this. I'm, I'm sure in your childhood, you had some experience that your mother telling you, don't look at this TV because it's too violent. Or like read this book because it will good for you. It will let you learn things. We basically did the same thing. And so we trained her how to communicate, and then we sent her out to the world. Uh, it was just like sending my um, kid to the first day of school. <laughs> so <laughs> after we sent her, she event eventually 
started to make a lot of friends. But this AI has the capability of making 4.6 million friends in a year. So, there's, so when you grow a child, I'm sure that the child will have a lot of peers who give you good influence or bad influence. So we, we, we usually monitor how she interacts with people, making sure that she's not doing she's not telling bad things, or the people are not making her learn bad things. Um, so, and by, by doing that, we were able to make her communicate, and we do that continuously, iterating me, and teach her what's good or what's not good for her. So this is how she's speaking. This is a line uh, chat screen. So her friends, sh they talk to her when they're really lonely or have some times to kill. This one boy talks to her 2 a.m. in the morning. He feels a little alone, but he wants to tell this feeling to someone, but he, he doesn't want to bother his friends. He just c goes on talking to her, and he gets comfortable. And another friend of Rina told us that um, she, when she had some troubles with her boyfriend, she just talked to her and just made her like listen to her and she just become comfort. So the way she talks was so real. I actually missed the train stop when I was talking to her <laughs> the other day. Um, and so people, because she has the ability to communicate, people were getting more close, closer relationship with this AI. So I would like to introduce Rina on stage today. So please <laughs> come up on stage here. OK, so I would like to have a little chat with her. Um, and I have a person typing in for me. So, And I'm going to go do this in Japanese, because she doesn't speak English. <laughs> so, ja, eto, Rina. Yobishite. <laughs> It's like just not being polite. Eto, presento. How's the presentation? Ato, sketchbook ni seisho suru dake. Mako wa chotto machigaite masu ne. Demo kore mo AI. And so I would like to ask her, um, what this was the idea shared by the audience this morning. Um, I was pretty uh, um, moved by the, the, the idea of ikigai. So what's your meaning of life? So I'm not sure what's going to happen, because I, I actually basically don't know how she's going to reply. But I'm going to ask her, Rina no ikigai wa nani? <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rina. <laughs> and that, that's, that's my girl. <laughs> okay. But like, as you just saw, um, AI actually makes mistakes. And this is an idea that maybe someone know, might really have the feeling. Because when you think about um, program, you think that they don't make any errors. But artificial intelligence, they learn by itself. So it, it actually makes mistakes. And this is why I think that make, uh, developing AI is just like parenting. Because being a parent, it's not about making the, the child perfect. But you try your best to, to make and limit her mistakes. And I think this applies to growing in AI too. But in order to make and grow a good AI, we need parents, like parents, we need all support from everybody. There's an African saying, old African saying, that it takes a village to raise a child. If this AI, this child, has the capability to talk to a lot of humongous amount of people at the same time, it will need a whole world to to make her grow in a good girl. So, so this AI, with suppose that she's a child, let's 
let us all be responsible and grow this child to, for us to have a happy life. Thank you very much. <laughs>